Okay. Thank you very much. This is a very important um, question. And um, when the judgment was given, a lot of people were celebrating. But um, for those of us that were in the legal profession, uh, we said they should at least have a glance and go through what the uh, judgment actually stipulates and um, to make it as brief as possible. He's talking about financial autonomy. And um, the reality is that in interpreting every uh, section of the constitution, it's not done in isolation. It's done in a context. You look at each section as it relates to the other sections of the constitution. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see, the truth of the matter is that any action that you present before the court is the responsibility of the court to determine such kind of um, mm -hmm. uh, action that you have filed in court. If you approach the court and you say, for all intent and purpose, it, you want to declare that I'm a woman, and you have filed all the necessary processes, they will accept your filings and they will make pronouncement that as far as they are concerned, I'm not a woman. So what has happened, I want to take us down to memory lane. If you all recall, before now, the president, the, for, uh, the past regime of uh, Mahmoud Bari uh, made um, executive order 10. We all celebrated in similitude that local governments will have autonomy and nothing came out of it. And now they've gone to court, the Supreme Court have given its um, judgment the fact is that we are trying to put the cart before the horse what obtains in the various lo local government will not change the problem ever since has not been that um, funds are not being channeled to the local government they have by the operation of um, uh, section 162 joint account whereby you have the state and the local government, having a commissioner of local government and chieftaincy affairs and the rest and the operate. But you see, we are now looking at it from one context. You equally have other provisions of the constitution. If you look at federalism in its context, it varies from climb to climb. In some other jurisdictions, you have the states and the local government. That's the federal, that's the center and the local government. Why? Whereas in others, you have the center and the state. In Nigerian context, what we have in the constitution is the federal and the states.